Let's meet the visiting team, Minnesota Timberwolves. At center, Nas Reed. At small forward, Jaden McDaniels. At point guard, D'Angelo Russell. At the other forward position, Carl Anthony Towns. At the other guard position, Anthony Edwards. The head coach of the visiting team is Chris Finch. to what promises to be a great Tuesday night of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with... And before we tip this one off, let's go to the sideline and see what David Aldridge has for us. David, take it away. Well, thank you very much. Now, the NBA has accepted that this is an era of player movement. Commissioner Adam Silver says the data shows that superstars moving isn't necessarily a bad thing because it allows situations to change. Teams that may not be in a competitive position hope that they can sign one of those players. And as we know, Kevin, hope springs eternal. It always does. It keeps the fans involved and looking for more. David, thanks. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. Backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. Reed is out there with Towns, and it's McDaniels at the three set. And for Phoenix, Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. And it's Bridges in at the small forward position. It's still early in the season, and teams are still trying to figure out rotations. Greg, what's it like to play in a game like that tonight? Well, for a lot of these guys, Kevin, it's all about jockeying for a position, making an argument for minutes, and you want to earn the trust of your coaches. Paul passes to Aiton. Dishes it to Booker. Six to shoot. Phoenix needs to get off a shot. Crowder, and too long on the shot. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for Minnesota. Pass to Russell. Launches a three. Off to a good start as he hits his first Russell. shot attempt. Boy, Russell loves to take and make these quick trigger shots. He plays with a nice rhythm and flow to his game. Booker up top. Back to Paul. In the corner, Crowder with it. Offline with his three. The Minnesota Timberwolves come into this one after the win against the San Antonio Spurs. And Towns throws it down. Towns has excellent size and really long arms, and he uses both to wreak havoc on the offensive boards. Bridges a screen on Russell. Here's Paul. Phoenix no good that time either. Timberwolves have gone two or three here to start out the game. 
Russell against Crowder. Outside Edward. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Boy, the former second overall pick has really worked on his passing. That was an outstanding find by Russell. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Paul. Eaton is screen on it. They need this. It's not going to go for him. And Minnesota now the other way. Russell feeling it out a bit. There's the pass to Reed. Downs kicks to Reed. The dish to Russell. Knocked away. But three. Shot clock reset for the Timberwolves. Towns sets the pick for Russell. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Last season, Clark, the Timberwolves snapped a three-year playoff drought. An important milestone for this squad, Kevin. I mean, it shows they're ready to compete in the postseason. That's huge and speaks to just how far this team has come. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Dayton sets the pick for Booker. Driving in, and the dunk by Booker. An underrated athlete with a solid handle. Defenders can't always keep up with Booker on the drive. Oh, here is Edwards. 17 points in his last outing. Towns, no luck. Russell against Paul. Inside. Kicks it out to Booker. Ayton sets the pick for Booker. Back to Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. Don't underestimate Booker's passing ability. He's getting better and better at making plays for others. Towns a screen on Paul. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. Phoenix had right, a chance to see stats for Paul. Coming off a terrific season. Averaged about 14 points. 11 assists and four rebounds. And his playmaking really stands out. Making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing. Yeah, he's outstanding at controlling the tempo. I mean, he keeps the ball moving and, of course, finds the open man. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Timberwolves have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Towns a screen on Bridges. Russell kicks to Towns. Good, and it's Russell picking All up the assist. Towns. Towns has got his second basket of the night. You know, Towns is one of the biggest inside-outside threats in the league and shooting a great percentage from deep. Exit it out to Booker. Bridges sets the screen for Booker. A little shot fake there, got the D out of position. Booker's got six. Timberwolves leading by three. Passes to Reed. Now it, there's the triple. Rebounded by DeAndre. And up the court come the Suns on the break. Here's Booker. Banked in off the glass. Eight points for him. And just a solid way to start the game. Four, five. Here's Russell with the three. And it's Aiton with the rebound. We oh, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. No good from Booker. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Timberwolves. Towns the screen. Back to Russell. Takes the three. Buries the long range jumper. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. Suns trail by four. All up top. He's guarded by Russell. Eight in a screen on Edwards. For three. Hooker. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Pass to Towns. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got three assists in the game. Towns attacks the basket with such a ferocity and never give up attitude. I love that about him, guys. Booker against Edwards. 
Booker the pass to Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot by Crowder, no good. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Russell dishes to town, and Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is Chris his first, first foul of the game. First so foul. for the Suns, Sharks has checked in for eight, and Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. The Timberwolves also with the sub. Noel's checked in. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Charge just screen on Russell. Here's Payne. Reed with the block. And here is McDaniel. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Towns. Kicks it to McDaniels. Back to Towns. From downtown. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Towns has got a couple of threes now in the first with the Timberwolves. Booker right side. In the corner. Crowder with it. Now Payne. Here's Booker. Nice move. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Noel. Boy, he was something else against San Antonio. Russell, no good. Suns trail by six. To end the drought. Booker the pass to Crowder. On the wing, Booker, defended by Towns. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got 13. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean... Suns lean by three. Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Up it forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. And it's Aiton in at the center. So that's the Suns' five as we get into the second quarter. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Shot clock at six. Aiton sets the pick for Booker. On the wing, Bridges. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Bridges has got the lead up to six now for Phoenix. No hesitation from Bridges. He, he gets the ball and is primed to take that shot. Has to Reed. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Phoenix has gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Booker, Aiden in the corner. Edwards against Bridges. And Booker kicks to Paul. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Top of the key jumper, no good. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assists. Second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. Prince with a screen on Bridges. Takes it out to Prince. A three-pointer, no good. Booker outside. He feeds it to Paul. Chris Paul sets up a fantastic example for younger players. I mean, CP3 defines what it means to be a pro. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Phoenix. Oh, man, how about the mid-range jumper from these guys? It's on tonight, a huge part of their offense so far. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. Shot by McDaniels, no good. And great, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. McLaughlin, the pass to Prince. They set the pick. The pass to Reed. Takes it off the glass. Reeves got his first bucket of the night. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Booker dishes to Aiton. 
And Booker kicks to Paul. Ayton sets the pick for Paul. Kicks it out to Booker. From deep. It's rebounded by McLaughlin. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. He dishes it to Edwards. Prince with a screen on Paul. And here's Edwards from the arc. Crowder pulls it in. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. Only given up two points this quarter. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. It is hard to forget the crazy draft night for Bridges in 2018. Drafted 10th by his hometown Sixers, his mom was an employee with the team. But he was traded an hour later to Phoenix. He says, it was tough, but once I came here, I loved it. Group of guys we had, I knew I wanted to be here. Minnesota. They are sure glad they got me. They are indeed, no doubt. DA, thank you. Chris Paul, one of the best foul shooters in the history of the NBA. I mean, he's not a guy you want to send to the line. He hits the second from the line. And you see players trying to get the officials to blow the whistle. Were players in your day great falling down as much as they seem to be doing now? Oh, it's way more common now. And, and let's face it, it's a copycat league. All the whistles slow the game down. I just love to see them let a little bit more go. A nice shot by Booker. Pass first mindset of Paul. When you leave somebody open on this squad, this will make you pay for it. Time out call. First of the game for Minnesota. Here's a look at the stats for Devin Booker. Great showing for him last season. Eighth in scoring. And he'd make you pay every time he went to the line. Top 20 in free throw percentage. And back to his points per game average last year. He literally propped up the team's offense whenever they needed it. Gliding and gliding off the pick and roll. Russell makes the smart choice to take it himself. Bridges outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Passes it to McLaughlin. There's the pick. With the drive. Pass to Reed. And stolen by Eaton. Here's Bridges. A rebound by the Timberwolves. And this is their first time matched up with the Suns this season. In this game, just the first of four meetings between these two, they'll get quite familiar with each other by season's end. You know what, guys? I don't know. I, I get the feeling that this could be an interesting matchup this season. This first game will tell us a lot. Booker finds eight. And Aiton throws it down. And it's the way Aiton uses his body inside. It's what allows him to get so close to the basket. Timberwolves trail by eight. Edwards with it. Bridges with some nice defense. Out in his own on the break. And the dunk by Booker. This is a guy who once scored 70 points in a game. Booker doesn't take much for him to start percolating. Here's Russell. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. And talking about a franchise that has done a complete 180, look no further than the Phoenix Suns. Before 2021, they hadn't even been to the playoffs in 10 years. Phoenix leading by 10. Booker the pass to Crowder. Here's Hayton. Bucket is good. Hayton's got six. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Down low. Here's Russell. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. It's going to be on Jake Crowder. Despite the wiry frame, taking it up strong inside in D'Angelo. Phoenix making some changes. Sharks comes in for Crowder. And it's Booker in for Damian Lee. Prince has checked in for Minnesota. Noel comes in for Jordan McLaughlin. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. 
Towns sets the pick for Anderson. And the shot is good. The Phoenix oh, lead has been cut to just 11 on the basket from Carl Anthony Towns. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. At the offensive end, he's been a starter. Real Hoopers know I just created that two for one like perfectly, bro. Outside Towns. Stolen by Booker. And so we wrap up the first half. Suns lead by 13. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Carl. Impressive start for you. What's the mentality going into a game like this? Uh, just being aggressive. Uh, really played like, really played well at all the first half myself. Missing, all of us are missing a lot of easy money. We're missing layups for us as pros. So, uh, second half, if we make those layups, uh, we should be fine. We'll see if you stick to the script. Thanks very much, man. Back to you. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Welcome to the studio for our halftime show. Both teams with some injuries. Neither team at full strength. Obviously a big hole to fill in the middle with Rudy Gobert out, especially at the defensive end of the floor. I mean, the guy's a game changer with his shot blocking. Tough to replace that kind of presence inside. And keeping things moving, what a tremendous first half performance for the Suns. The offense is clicking right now. They're moving it well. Stick with it. The defense can't hang. Well, we'll see if they can keep it up and build out this lead even further. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Bot <laughs> him up. Be physical with him. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. Trailing by 13. And so in the game for the Timberwolves. Hiding in at the wing, it'll be Edwards and McDaniel. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Nas Reed. And it's Russell in at the point. And now in the final year of his contract, D'Angelo Russell trying to get back to that all-star level. And the promise that got him that last three years ago. And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency has been a problem. Now, if you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. Here's Paul and the rejection by Towns. Aggressive defense from Towns there, staying all over the shot and getting a clean block. Russell from long range. The shot will not fall. Now the Suns take it the other way. Booker outside, and the dunk by Booker. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Oh, here is Edwards. About one minute played here in the second half. Fires for three. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Suns lean by 14. And here is Paul. Pass to Aiton. Booker outside. Bridges kicks to Crowley. Kept alive. A second chance effort. And there's a nice layup inside by Bridges. Bridges has got his second basket of the night. 
7-1 wingspan. Bridges plucking the rebound and then generating points for the team. Tries the spin move. Back to Reed. Six on the shot clock. Here's McDaniels. Two points. That one goes. McDaniels. McDaniels got his first points of the night. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Bridges passes to Aiton over Reed. That one wide left. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. He had about an 82% clip a season ago, so I'm sure he'll take those numbers. You know, he really did excel at the stripe. I mean, they couldn't have asked for too much more from him when it came to knocking down free throws. The Timberwolves making a switch here. McLaughlin's checked in. The three. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Booker's got his fourth rebound in this one. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound, and you've certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it. But it's been good on a number of levels. Edwards passes to McLaughlin. Back to Edwards. <laughs> Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Since being the first pick of the 2020 draft, Anthony Edwards has not disappointed. I'll tell you something, partner. The Timberwolves got that one right. Did they ever? I mean, we knew about his nuclear athleticism, but the leadership, the work ethic, the ability to impact winning also have been evident. This is a multi-time all-star going forward. Edwards kicks to Towns. Sinks the triple. Towns Towers. has got four points now Three in the point quarter. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Booker, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. The pass to Edwards. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. And another miss. Whew. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. Count that one. And the Suns lead by 13. You know, he does it easily, and it's really smooth the way he scores. Paul's form and release on the shot, really about as good as it gets. Edwards can hit. And so it's Crowder with it. They'll bring it up for Phoenix. At one point, they led by 16. It out to Booker. Ayton sets the pick for Booker from 20 feet out. And all around the win that time before dropping in. Booker's got 25 points in the game. Now it passes it to Towns. Back to Edwards. Edwards with another miss. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with him. Tough day so far. Ball kicks to Booker. In the corner, it's Bridges. No good on the triple. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Fourth personal foul. It's going to be town shooting. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Suns? I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. It's a nation. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific. Doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. And Aiton throws it down. Sweet find there by Booker. All eyes on him with the ball. And Devin understands that. It has a nice feel for giving up the rock. Read the pass to Towns. And he banks in the lane. Towns has got nine points in the quarter. 
Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. And Aiton throws it down. Great game for him. Double-double down. Ten points and ten rebounds. To the inside. Pass to McLaughlin. There's a good screen for three. Hits it from three-point range. McLaughlin's got himself on the board with three there. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And Aiton throws it down. Impressive at using the pick and roll. Aiton slips well to the basket after setting that screen. Here's McLaughlin. Defended by Booker. Outside, Towns. Misses the three. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Lee passes to Booker. Shot on the wing. And a little off that time, but it drops. Booker's got 27. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. The Timberwolves secured a spot in the playoffs last season, Greg, and we enjoyed it after they got that emotional win in the play-in game in the Twin Cities over the Clippers. What a night. And, Kevin, you could tell it meant a lot to the players. And this is a team that has struggled for so long. And by getting to the playoffs, this is a step in the right direction. Timeout called the Suns. That's right, Suns a big group substitution here for Phoenix. Landale's checked in. Sharch comes in for Booker. He's checked in for Sharch. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for the Timberwolves. Here's Payne. Lee outside. Pass to Craig. Now here's Payne, defended by Towns. Five to shoot. Booker dishes to paint. Shoots over Towns. Rebound, Minnesota. Towns has got 11 rebounds in the game. Russell passes to Noel. Trying to find Towns. Gets it to him. Two minutes, Plays it up and banks it in. Two minutes. Towns has got 30. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring him back. And Booker kicks to Payne. Booker is screen on Russell. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And while we have a moment, let's check the stats for Kyle Anderson. How he did last season. He was around seven points a game last year. Five rebounds and two assists. And you can't downplay the importance of good size off the bench. <laughs> Space invader, a big guy who simply holds his ground and makes opponents work around him. That's good stuff. Prince's shot is good. You know we have to see that great mobile one drive one more time. And I just love his competitiveness. He, he's showing there. Team might be down, but a drive like that could spark them. Hooker the pass to Landale. And again, it's the Suns missing. Timberwolves trail by 16. Here's Noel. Dishes it to Russell. The pass to Towns. And he overshot that one, missing. Phoenix has gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Craig sets the screen for Booker. So the wing on the left. Payne finds Booker. Shoots. Nails the wide open jump shot. Booker's got 10 points in just the second half. And what a baller Booker is. Capable of torching you from any spot on the floor. Here's Towns. A beautiful reverse oh, lane. Anthony they Towns. are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. 
Hooker the pass to Landale. Can't get it to fall. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the Phoenix Suns. He has been a determined scorer today. 29 points all together for him. And I think there's more where that came from. And we'll be back with you shortly. In a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. And it's Bridges in at the small four. That's who's out there for Phoenix. It's Prince on the wing. Back to Edwards. The tray. Bridges with the board. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Booker outside. Knocks it loose and stolen by Prince. Edwards with it. Now guarded by Booker. Edwards can't hit. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Booker looking around. Right side Crowder. Bridges a screen on it. They get it back. Aiton. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Aiton uses his height well to keep possessions alive. Here's Edwards. And finished off by Edwards. Oh, doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G slam camp. And Booker kicks to Bridges. Lets it fly from 18. And that one hits back iron. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul second of the game. First, first, foul. first team foul. To the wing right side. Prince with a screen on Paul. There's Noel. Bridges with the board. Bridges has got his fourth and down with that last one here tonight. And there he goes. Booker shot off the vert. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And the Timberwolves call time. Now Greg, a disappointing ending to the playoff last season, certainly for the Phoenix Sun. Well, came in the top seed in their conference only to make a second round exit after a grueling game seven. So this season might be revenge time for this group. Sharch has checked in for Crowder. And here's Edwards from the arc. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. And a quick look at how the Minnesota Timberwolves schedule is shaping up. On Friday, they'll be matching up against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then on Saturday, the Houston Rockets will come into town. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Torian Prince. Time now for an injury report. An update now on Dario Sharge from David Aldridge. What'd you find out, Dave? Hey, guys, I got an update from the Suns head athletic trainer. He informed me that the knee was bent slightly backwards and is indeed right for extended, but that there does not appear to be any structural damage. This is not how they wanted to begin the season, and it'll be interesting to see how much this hurts them. Kevin? Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Anthony. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. 
And you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Edwards, that's good. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget, but in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Booker against Edwards. No good from Booker. Timberwolves trail by 18. Nick Daniels with the ball. Noel passes to Reed. And here's Edwards from the arc. Edwards with another miss. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. Booker left side. To the paint. Here's Ayton. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got assist number seven for him tonight. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. And they pick up two. Anthony Edwards. Edwards got eight points in the quarter. Well, the defense trying to throw Edwards off with some contact, but he smartly stays focused on his shot. Charge passes to Booker. Spin. Converts after the nice spin. Booker's got 16 here in the second half. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. I'll tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Lock at six. Uses the glass to finish the way. Booker's got 37. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. Ball outside. Fires the three. No good from Booker. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Anderson up top, outside Edwards. To the middle, here's McDaniels. And finished off by McDaniels. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Now here's Paul. He can't get that one to fall. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. And Edwards with the stuff. Boy, the athleticism of Edwards is something to behold. Love watching him sky up to throw it down. Booker finds Aiton. Aiton sets the pick for Booker. Back to Aiton. Minnesota with the rebound. Reeves got his seventh rebound here tonight. Edwards inside. The charge is there. They get it back, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Payne, he's checked in for the Suns. And then for Minnesota, Carl Anthony Towns comes in for Kyle Anderson. And it's Russell in for Edwards. Here's Payne, and he gets it to go. And the Suns lead by 18. For Minnesota, they've gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Tries the spin move. It's stolen by Sharks. Here's Booker, trying to the hoop, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul, Nas Reed. Second point. When you were playing, social media wasn't a thing. Uh, now that you see it through your eyes, how has that changed the game? 
I think it's changed it exponentially, and in many ways, it's been good in terms of more people being able to be connected. You can expose more people to more of the beauty of the game. For marketing, I think it's terrific when you talk about video clips and all of the different kinds of content you can create and share globally around the game. The challenge, though, for the players is making sure that they keep the main thing the main thing, keep first things first, and not allow the noise of the Internet and social media to be a distraction. Reed picks to Russell. To end the run. Crowder pulls it in. Crowder's got eight rebounds in this game. Booker draws the double. Passes it to Payne. Lobbed up there for Booker. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Towns. The Timberwolves again can hit. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Now, here's McDaniel. Not a lot of room. Here's Russell. Plays it up yeah, off the glass. And it's 13 points for D'Angelo Russell. Well, I tell you, Russell looking very comfortable taking on aggressive defense and getting the job done. That's good focus on his part. Bridges misses. Timberwolves trail by 21. Outside, Russell. Pass to Reed. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Suns. Booker, right side. Bridges dishes to Ayton. Pass to Booker. Booker draws the double. Just five to shoot. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And you know the league this year opting not to both teams changing it up here. Here's Russell. And there's the pass to Edwards. And stolen by Booker. Payne looking around. And here is Craig. Up to Payne. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Six on the shot clock. Booker against Edwards. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got 42 in the game. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. They poured it out tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when, when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt, helps. And the execution was flawless. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much with Chris Paul. Chris, a very convincing win, and that doesn't happen often in this league. So what do you take from this? You know, one thing that our, our coaching staff keeps stressing to us every night is that it's about us. You know, so regardless of score, we got to continue to try to get better because uh, we impose our will on the defensive end. The sky's the limit. Well, the focus was there tonight, Chris. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.